Good morning, folks. As we zoom out, you'll realize just how much Italy is still shaking. 16 died in aftershocks yesterday. That's twice as many as in the initial quake. This is a somewhat concerning article detailing wildlife problems down under. We are approaching times of hard decisions. I never liked the term black hole, and if things escape it, how can gravity be what they say? Or for those like me, proponents of the electric universe, it's not. Greenland lost more ice in the last decade than they should have, based on historical totals. Raise your hand if you're shocked. An anonymous threw some support behind the Canadian student protesters. Barrel had its act together when it arrived, and as it turns back around and out to sea, we will say goodbye to Barrel tomorrow. Apparently, a widespread felt quake shook the entire southern continent of Africa yesterday. China has a seriously toxic algae problem on the east coast, landslides almost weekly in the western mountains. In Afghanistan, young girls are under constant attack for simply going to school. 10,000 dead fish and counting in Baltimore waters in the west coast of US and Canada is really seeing tsunami debris. Solar wind, the top two panels are the speed and density respectively. You can see that we jumped up from quiet levels due to a small CME impact. We may actually have a glancing blow here today, but this is not major space weather. That didn't stop the induction magnetometer from registering the most asinine PC1 pulsation I've ever seen, which is now removed. I am kicking myself for not recording it. You can see the bright active regions on the southern solar disk. Having a look at their magnetics, you can see why they have not flared big time. Nice separation of the blue and the red on both spots. Remember, blue is on the right in the south. That will change after the solar pole flip. Turning over the northeastern limb is that massive corona hole that used to look like a pyramid. A look from the side with the earth on the right from stereo B shows just how big it is. Sky watchers, tonight the moon stands between Saturn and Mars. Both are easy to spot. Saturn has a bright, par uh, bright partner, Spica, just underneath, and Mars is red. Mercury will conjoin Venus this week. Afterwards, don't forget we have eclipse number two of 2012, lunar, during the full moon on June 4th. As Venus crosses the sun on June 5th, I believe it will transit that same coronal hole. That's the news, folks. If you missed our video last night, check it out. Be safe.